Punchbowl News had a headline last night that said that yesterday was, and I quote, one of the most embarrassing days in GOP House history. They really could have included the Senate as well, and in fact, they could have included the entire Republican Party. Yesterday was a terrible day for Republicans everywhere in the United States, and I want to tell you why. I also want to make sure you understand that they have only themselves to blame. So first we have Republicans in the Senate. They got a bill. They got a bill that they demanded. They demanded an immigration bill be tied to funding for Ukraine. That's not the way things are done. But Democrats wanted that Ukraine funding and they wanted to help fix the border. So they said, all right, fine, let's do it. Joe Biden said, do it. Negotiate a good border bill. And they did. And the crazy thing is, is that Republicans got by far more of what they wanted than Democrats did. In fact, Democrats didn't get any of their priorities in the bill, really. Republicans got about 90% of their ultimate wish list. This is a bill that a couple of years ago, they would have said you were kidding them if you said that they were going to get offered this bill. They would never have believed it. And yesterday, they killed it. They killed that bill within about six hours of its introduction. They killed it because Donald Trump told them to. Told them, I don't care what you want. I don't care what's good for the country. He never has. And I don't care what's good for the party. I don't want it. I need to run on a broken border. Kill the bill. And they did. So that happened yesterday. Four months of work and God knows how much taxpayer money down the toilet because of Donald Trump and a spineless Republican Party. So that's our Senate, right? Then over in the House, we have two things brought up for a floor vote and both failed. That in and of itself would never happen under a Democratic speaker, ever. Nancy Pelosi in eight years did not have a bill fail that she brought to the floor because she was masterful at her job. Mike Johnson is inept. So he brought two votes up to the floor and they both failed. The impeachment vote, which by the way, they're only bringing up to please Trump. Trump has demanded this impeachment just like he wants the impeachment of Joe Biden for payback and political theater and distraction and retribution. So they did it, and then the vote failed because a couple of Republican Congress members actually have enough spine left to know that it's baseless and absolutely inappropriate and absolutely not what Americans want them to be focusing on. So that failed. But that wasn't enough humiliation for Mike Johnson. Then he brought up another bill. This was a bill for Israel funding with nothing else attached to it, and that failed as well. So in the one chamber, they're trying to impeach Mayorkas because he's supposedly bad on the border. In the other chamber, they're killing the bill that would have fixed the border with their approach to fixing the border, by the way, not even Democrats, which probably is a better approach. And then they're bringing up other bills that are also failing in the House. So this is humiliation on top of humiliation on top of humiliation. And then on top of that, Ronna McDaniel, who's been running the RNC for years, announces that she's stepping down. Why? Again, Trump wants her out. Trump is pulling the strings everywhere. But just because he knows how to pull strings doesn't mean that he's good at anything other than breaking everything. And that's what we're watching him do right now. He's not building things through his minions. He's tearing them down. Here's the thing. This is the existential moment that we find ourselves in is one of our parties is gone. They are gone. They can no longer act in anyone's interests but Donald Trump. The whys don't matter. The hows don't matter. That is the fact. One of our parties has been kidnapped by a man who is a frightened criminal. They have decided that they just want to be henchmen now. They don't want to be lawmakers. And that's their choice. They have to live with it. But you and I have a choice too. Is this what we think governing should look like? This chaos, this division, this screaming and yelling and dysfunction? If not, let's make a different choice. Let's vote accordingly. You deserve better and so do I and we will never ever get it while those broken people are in charge.